serious or like i think it was just like a passing by conversation you know so i just said that i look i just saw this this rising wedge so i kind of expected to like you know drop drop like this and then i left it and then tuesday i was on flight right so the whole day was just like thinking about the flight you know making sure i put all my arrangements in place not to miss my flight back back to my new resident country which is dubai lagos to dubai even i faced some hurdle there i'll share a little bit of it with you right so i came back home first thing i did you know me anytime i go anywhere first thing i do is i, I open my laptop I, I scan through my pairs and see where the market is trading at and what perspective it has left or what footprint it has, it has left it has been part of my my attitude for so many so many months years now so i came back and then lo and behold i started observing that like this market had you know literally just traded all the way down like that and i was pained to have missed this one right because it was like one of the most easiest setup this is an easy 120 pips like this is the market just dashing you money like you said take this money take this money you know sometimes i watch some setups and like ah, the market is literally dashing people money but they're failing to to see it and failing to take it maybe i think it's lack of lack of lack of knowledge right you know the bible says what lack of knowledge my people perish so many so many of you you lack knowledge you know and that's why um quote unquote you're perishing right you're perishing in the world of success but you're not getting it it's a simple it's simply lack of knowledge it's nothing it's nothing it's nothing strange it's nothing huge <coughs> sorry you know if you really follow me you'd see that even on twitter right I quote, I, I, I randomly would tweet certain quotes and then people like, wow, could you, thanks for the knowledge, thanks for the, thanks for the insight, thanks for the nuggets. You know, where do you think it came from? It, it did not just appear from the skies and drop in my head. It's years of reading, years of experience, years of, you know, hustling through processes that, that's like, I more like inculcated all those knowledge or or like had a grasp of all those wisdom and, and tips and nuggets that I share. So you want to start early, you know. I've been watching my statistics. I kind of realize that majority of people that follow me fall between the age bracket of 18 to 30 years, which is perfect, you know. And then the next, about so about 60% of people that follow me fall between um, um, 18 to 30. Then the rest of the um, um, 40 fall above like 30 to like 50 but even that one there's also another breakdown so tell you the truth not to say that i don't really care about people that are that are above the 30 years but you see if you are really above above 30 you, you're not a kid to be guided you know that time has passed you know because like you you had your chance your moment you should have had a mentor you should have had a guidance you should have probably be reading Whatever, whatever life opportunity you may have taken, you should have had it. So, like you say, untimin to untimin to open you for, right? There's no opening. I mean, in three days, you say you cannot advise an old man. You can also advise a rich man. So, for anybody above 30, 35, blah blah blah, I personally would not advise that person. Best thing I'll do is share ideas with that person. But I can definitely advise you know anybody below below 30 years you know you're 29 you're 27 26 25 trust me i can sit you down and 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 pour sense into your head you know and pour proper sense into your head so if you're if you're in that age bracket like i'm saying you need to you need to start setting structures right and then you need to also be you need to also be trying to acquire knowledge wisdom right and then knowledge and wisdom sometimes they come at a fee right and that's why i have literally scrapped off every fee around uh, my good strategy so that people will just take it for free you know I've, I, I'm, I'm i'm matured in the game you know <clears throat> i'm matured in the game of i have trained thousands of people i've done well for myself i've done well for people around me you know all my friends are equally succeeding it's time for you to also succeed you know, so if you want to take advantage of that, I mean, do well to just find a link anywhere, anyhow, to join us in the Go Strategy group, right, for only 99. 
99 dollars you can get all the knowledge that i have on the good could you forest good strategy that's that's just about that anyway we didn't really come to talk about that even though i need to throw a little bit of light on that as well right but i, I want to see as many people in there as possible look a lifetime of investment <coughs> doesn't cost a thing <coughs> sorry every day in and out i'm telling you the truth i spend a lot of money on acquiring knowledge every day in and out i spend a lot of dirhams a lot of euro a lot of dollars a lot of pounds a lot of cities just acquiring information you see i wouldn't even call it knowledge i call it information right even though it's knowledge <clears throat> because some information cannot can may not necessarily contain knowledge accident accident eh? where is that in I'm ghana sure i don't even want to watch it <laughs> Sorry, please continue. <clears throat> Sorry, like I'm saying, not every information may necessarily even contain knowledge, but you need to seek it, right? Like I'm saying, today I probably need to throw a little bit more light on 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 the good strategy. I always like play with it, like oh, it's not serious and stuff. But for me, I wish like people would people would see what is going on. Do I have do I have my good mentees here? Where where are the where are the KGM squad, right? You know we call ourselves the KGM because the forest good mentorship squad. They're all here. Like you guys need to be gassing your people up. You guys need to be motivating people. You know, it's just not it's not it's not enough for you to be receiving all the impact and keeping I know sometimes it's nice to feel like yeah, you know a lot more than so many other people. But you know, sometimes you gotta let others that's that's just about me. You know, if you watch my lifestyle, you realize that Everything about me is about increase, you know, increase in people's life, increase in people's knowledge, increase in people's financial status, inc increase in people's well-being, increase in people's happiness, you know, and it's, it just lifts off me. So, but I, but I also understand principles in life, right? And then because of principles is why I'll not put certain things like out there certain things not everything certain things for free there are so many things i put out for free like if you go on my youtube youtube for instance you 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 are blessed you know i've, I've had so many people who have come to me and say kujo your youtube is a game changer for me it changed my life it changed my mind it made me buy this car it made me buy this land it made me pay the school fees your youtube is everything for me that's the value that i share there right because i want to give the best there but I also keep a lot more better for the people who have now gone the extra mile to sow a seed. You know, for me, I call it like sowing a seed because that, that thing wouldn't necessarily change anything for me. But it's like, you, you're paying a price. One day you can stand somewhere and be like, yeah, when I joined you in 2021, when I joined you in 2024, when I joined you in this, that time you were running a promo of this and that and that and I paid and I joined. And I got a value. This is what I knew. And you know, there's pride in saying that than going to somewhere and saying that I got your leaked course somewhere and I got your cracked course somewhere. What are you doing? You're lying to yourself. You know, it may not necessarily even take you anywhere. So learn from that, right? I'm telling you, you know, me, I've paid so many dues and price, but it's just by the way, anyway. Anyway, let's also look at the market briefly. Um, I've, I've already talked about GBP USD, right? I didn't finish talking about it. So you can see that, for the most part, majority of things that are that are that have been happening on the market quite recently with most of the currency pairs have been like chart pattern related, right? You can see here, this is the falling wedge. It went up, respected the pattern perfectly, did its own thing, came up on the psychological level, dropped, rising wedge dropped, also um, a bullish triangle briefly dropped. Right, normally the resultant effect should have brought this thing all the way down here, right? But it didn't it didn't bring it down here and then halfway through it just went up like that, right? Now um I saw so many people trying to short this thing. If they did not probably even take profit out of this, then the market will just reverse on them. And now the market is all over the place, right? The market has pretty much been all over the place. What the market reminds me of, if you ask me, is the 2019 and 2020 type of market. There are opportunities, but you need to work your ass off to find those opportunities. The market is not just going to pour those honeys in your mouth for you to swallow and eat for free like that. right? You realize that my trade frequencies have even reduced. That's because 
I'm almost always moving about, doing meetings, deals, this, this, seminar, you know, expos and stuff like that, right? So my trade hours or my chat time have somewhat reduced. Nonetheless, like I said, trading is in my blood, is in my, is in my body, is in my soul, is in my spirit. So all the time I'm, I'm working with this very cute laptop you're seeing here, but a lot of work is going on. Look at, look at how many tabs I have open <laughs> at the moment. This is not... This is not Rick FX tab. Rick FX tab, you see Pornhub, you see TikTok, you see uh could you show then what what you see you see funny 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 things. This is serious tabs that are open, right? If I show you these tabs here, you run away. You see Slack, you see Discord, you see Titan emails, you're going to see APSA, you're going to see HSBC, you're going to see Afri Checkout, you're going to see Metoric Business, 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 business. Rick's own is just <laughs> Ghana Web and Pornhub and what, what. <laughs> serious, serious business here. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, like I said, GBP, EPUS is all over the place. For now, if you ask me what's my expectation for for GBP, I can't quite even tell um, where where I'm expecting it to really go. You know, it's quite it's kind of difficult if you ask me, right? Genuinely, the market is more like all over all over the place. But you know, it's always easy when you just follow that two step process. You know, the two step process is like literally finding the highs and lows, putting the market in more like a fix or uh, or a box. You know, once you do that um it kind of like um um well i say automatically summarizes the market's perspective for you right i like to always do this right there's magic in this small thing that you're seeing see how see how people hype people that like, i get you know unless they don't hear porn hop you know, some people some people are there in this live session they have they have their they are history if you visit their phone history you faint or their phone memory is 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 filled with you know only god knows so the moment you raise their topic they are like ah good joe we are just talking forex 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 where is the extra curriculum and today the extra curriculum is about their major interest porn hub yeah i get <laughs> huh? charlie we've all been youth youthful youthful before hmm? <laughs> me <laughs> eh? have you visited porn hub before my <laughs> 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 wife's mother is here i have to be keeping quiet <laughs> for your for i can re review yeah, your trick. As good as Rick, eh? yes. Rick, dear, I know his history already. Mm -hmm. I've seen, I've intentionally viewed his history. I know, I know what he does mm -hmm. behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, this is GBPCHF, right? I already told you that I was expecting this to drop, but I did not take this trade, right? Why did not I take this trade? <laughs> <laughs> See, you watch tire used for exuberance. No, me. This guy, I don't even know what make a toxic. What are you watching? What answer are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not really, bro. Not at all. Let me tell you why. When I was in, when I was in, why have you opened your ears to listen? Oh. Uh you want me to go inside? No, don't go inside. Even if you go inside, you will open your your I'm live session. <laughs> oh, when I was in high school, yeah, I tell you guys a, a little secret. When I was in high school, I was I was a very bright student. You know, I don't like to pride myself with it, but I kind of I kind of always try to let you guys know that some way, somehow, or somewhat, I've just I've just you know been regarded as a as a bright student. So because of that. You know how you know how in senior high school, junior high school, when you're when you're a smart kid, like every girl literally wants you, you know. Yeah, 
<laughs> please, 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 uh, <laughs> please, please. <laughs> you know. So, like, you see, you see the Neddy plus bowler type guy, dangerous, rough. That's good. <laughs> Say Neddy plus. <laughs> Guys made me laugh. <laughs> me, Neddy. I call it why a mistake. <laughs> me, I be proper baller. I'm just an old man now, you know, living that pension lifestyle. That's why I see me like this. Also, if I start to wear glasses, no mistake in the two. That because you me, 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 me glasses no crap, friend. Eh? Me blue Prada. one. Because you me Prada, then me you me Zara, then me you me. Island, Big Jane, me Jimmy Island. River Island shades with Jina. Remember the shades that I was going to buy? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, what am I even saying, baby? Mm -hmm. Oh, I want a fever. Mm -hmm. I ain't give me the cord, otherwise, this phone's gonna go off. Why is it? Probably at the top. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I have like 13%. This thing will run off. Yeah, so I mean, because of those type of experiences, bro, I did not, I did not join your youthfulness of Pornhub and all of those things. All right, if she goes, then I'll tell you the yeah. real. <laughs> don't go, don't go, don't hurt yourself. Sorry. <laughs> sure, this woman will join with her with her phone. I won't even see it. Anyway, okay, what I want to tell you guys is that me, I, I was getting the real deal, you know, real deal. What is porn have for? <laughs> you didn't hear that. <laughs> anyway, by the way, let's focus on, let's focus on GBPCHF. Also all around, right? Like I'm saying, pretty much all the markets, I can say that they've just, they've just not settled. Hmm? They've just properly not settled, if you ask me. You know, like it's it's actually difficult. It's actually difficult to make sense out of the market and find. And then and then like you scan, 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 scan. Then you get ah, uh, you guys. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I don't know why they are happy. Hey. They are the only people who know why yeah, they are happy. Hey. <laughs> yes, why? What did you say? Yeah, hmm? yeah, did you miss something? Did she miss something? <laughs> I think you were getting the real deal. <laughs> you are getting the real deal, eh? Oh, baby. You are getting the real deal. Where were you? Uh, we have ended this live session. We are going for family <laughs> meeting. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> guess it's the real deal. Look, this live has ended. <laughs> you want me to go to it? Today, you explain. I explain tired. No well, evidence. You know how you can just mm. specify me. How will I specify you? I was a young man. You were a young mm -hmm. what? Mm -hmm. I was a young man. I was in my 19s. 19 and 20. Boy, teenager. Mm -hmm. Teenager. <laughs> They've taken you to school to go and study. Uh -huh. What were you doing? Mm -hmm. You were getting the real deal. Mm -hmm. okay. so you sleep here. <laughs> you sleep out here. I've told you. <laughs> oh. <coughs> anyway, I see you go explain tire. <laughs> I started explain already. Euro GBP, right? Look, I was expecting a reaction around here. It broke that level a little bit. Come down here. Look, this level is also coming from here, right? So now, for me, I probably be expecting Euro GBP to go up from here like this, right? That's that's gonna be like my target for today. Is what Thursday? So tomorrow, you know, this whole week, look, look, let me just show you something. If you watch GBPUSD, the possible setup you could have taken on it was this one. If you miss this small one here, 
then it's hard for you to even talk about getting a trade on GBP USD. <laughs> Let's talk about um, Euro USD. This whole week as well, right? If you watch it, I kind of marked up 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and then 0 0.3. There was just like a little bit of a mix up going on here. You can see that beautiful rejection formation there, tweezers, right? And then right from there, if you calculate downwards, that's just about another 60 pips before that rise. If you miss that one, then that's pretty much like the most easiest setup you could have found for the week, which I did, you know. So I'm kind of giving you like uh, more like a brief perspective of how the market has 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 played out or run for for the week, and then sometimes you 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 want to beat yourself down when you truly have missed a lot. Like let's say one of these pairs, I think it was this one, yeah, right. I was I was actually monitoring this one from here, right. I marked a few a small zone there like that, right. Now this zone. It's my volatility zone, right? For most people, they would always call it liquidity zone, liquidity grab. I, I always say that people that subscribe to that logic, I call them the pessimist, right? Pessimists are people that are always looking for negative negativity. Like they, they're saying, oh, the market grabbed your liquidity, grabbed your stops. Then before I entered and that's why, that's a pessimistic person. They thrive on negativity. <clears throat> an, an optimistic person is never going to use those terminologies, right? But but for me, I don't know, it's all, it's all about perspective, you know, and theories. You know, there's so many theories in the market. We've heard of people who say, you know, market makers are the one moving the market. We've heard of people who say um, the big banks are the one who are moving the market. We've heard of people who say central banks are the one that are moving the market. We've heard of people who say politicians and you know, the Federal Reserve or whatever, whatever. People have various reasons and logic around why the market move, you know. So you cannot necessarily justify that every move is towards a manipulation or every move is towards, like, hampering or being a pessimist to the optimistic people in the market or, like, the majority of, like, positive people. So, and and trust me, like... The market is so huge and storytelling in nature that it will be almost, it's not even will be almost, it's literally almost impossible, right, in every nature for you to be able to tell the reason for every single movement in the market. The person who's been able to do that will probably be the world most powerful and the most richest person. <laughs> And if there is anybody like that, they will never let you know that they, they, they are the powers that be, you know? Have you ever heard the term, the powers that be, right? There are people there are people that control, you know, the monetary system in the world. Like, if you, if you, you know, really read the, um, um, the, we call them the, the reptilians, right? And then the, what? There's just like really serious code names for for those people, and then there's another name that we call them. It's more sometimes people want to want to quell all of them under conspiracy, but I don't see them under conspiracy. And they all part they all part of the market. What I'm saying, you know, you may think that they're not part of those logic are not part of the market. When I have time, I take time to read those philosophical books. Right, you want to read books from J.P. Morgan. You want to read books from the Rothschild, you want to read root from the Rockefellers, you want to read root from the Carnegie's, you know, these are financial unilateralists who have moved world and financial markets. You want to also even read, read, um, what's the name, um, Reminiscence of Stock Operator, Jess Livermore. I wouldn't say he was part of the people who ever moved the market, but he had so much information at an early age that when you read his book, he's able to tell exactly some of the characteristics that really make the market move what it does. So, like I've already shared, pers us optimistic person will say, okay, this is a volatility zone. Pessimistic person will say, this is a liquidity grab zone. It's up to you, what, whatever you want, right? But if you watch here, tapped into that zone, rejected briefly, and then suddenly dropped about 85 pips. Missing this, I was like, ah... Probably the juice the juice of the of the of the week has passed me by.